Following the previous tutorial, let's understand how to do the initial setup before you start using Moyo. So for you to do that, you go to Setup and say Easy Setup Assistant. So once you click that, there are a few areas here. Uh, let's look one by one. In this tutorial, you would see what to do with this account setup. So let me click this accounts. Now it will give you a few options on your left hand side. It's called Introduction, Accounts, List and opening balances conclusion. So either you can click that or you can click next, next. So let me click this introduction. It will give you a general idea of what account numbers are all about. It's also called as chart of accounts or GL account. GL is nothing but general ledger account. Okay. So once you click the next, it will take you to account list. Now, if you remember, we have clicked our industry as service industry and uh, we have uh, imported accountants chart of account all right so this is a classic look and feel if you notice one dash zero 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 that's the account format now one is for assets two is for liabilities and three is for equity no matter what my you use this is the standard structure one is a assets two is liabilities three is equity now one two three are balance sheet items and from four downwards they are called profit and loss items okay so four is income five is cost of sales six is expense and there's no seven and eight is other income and nine is other expense okay for you to understand uh, there are two types of industries one is goods one is services if you look at service industry, you would not have anything in cost of sales in general. 90% of the service industries, example for service industries are accounting firms or law firms or cleaning industries where uh, the services are offered. The other type is goods industries where you can either manufacture the goods or import the goods. For example, you're manufacturing the goods, your income will be the sale of the goods and the cost of sales is uh, the items directly related to those goods. I'll give you a simple example. If you're in the business of manufacturing a pen, then your income would be the sales from that pen and cost of sales would be the factory expenses you incur to make the pen, something like plastic, ink, metal, packaging, and everything is cost of sales. Now, if the, in that case, the six category expenses are usually called as overheads like all these office expenses, something like accounting, something like advertising, bank charges. So that's the classification. That's the difference between five and six, uh, cost of sales and expense. And if you come down, other income and other expense. So usually you'll get interest income and interest expense. But to get, but to get more understanding, just talk to your ex external accountant or financial controller how to understand more about this, okay? So that is the account list. Now, in Mayo, wherever you see this white arrow, that means you can edit that information. So let me click that information and then it will take you to the account. See, this is the look and feel of account. You have a profile, which is a header account. So let me say, okay, I'll go one below and click this white arrow. You see the detailed account. So you got two types of accounts, header account and detailed account let's look at header account first so you got the asset classification asset account type asset number and you can change this name if you want to the next section is detailed banking and history if i go to detailed account it's more easy for me to explain so let me click that white arrow so you got a profile that's a detailed account which sits under the header account okay so the account classification is bank when you click this classification as bank, it will allow you to reconcile the bank. I will tell you what is reconciliation when I'm looking at bank area. Okay, So there are a few categories here. Put it as bank for you to reconcile. That's my check account. Go to detail. And here you can set up the tax codes, GST or NT. Again, when I'm discussing the GST module, I will go in detail about it. Um, so in this example, for this tutorial, 
this is a bank account and it has got detailed entry for more information talk to your financial controller or financial accountant on this GST setup the next one is banking area now here you can put your bank numbers BSB in Australia BSB six digits bank account number is nine digits bank account name would be something like Krish Ravi Party PTY LTD and if I have a trading name something like McDonald's I would say yep trading as McDonald's South Pole, McDonald's Gold Coast okay and then once you create this this is called as an ABA file I'll explain you in detail to give you a quick understanding um, when you are uh, when you want to pay people from your bank account Myo allows you to select few options and then just create an ABA file which you can upload that into bank okay when I'm discussing banking module I will go in detail about the ABA file the next one is history so once you start putting the information in it will just generate the history here okay so that's a bit of uh, understanding a background about this GL account so the whole thing is called chart of accounts whereas each individual item is called GL account general ledger account okay so if you want to add something um, say for example I want to add here check account number two so what I do is I will click this and I will click new here you see the new so, and then I'll make the number as one 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 so let's see what happens so I click new so I'm going to do I'm going to leave that in bank and I'm going to say one 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 tab and I would say check account two and opening balance is zero let me explain your opening balance in the next section and detail I'm going to leave it as n dash t which is not reportable and uh, I will fill this when I have the information so this is a good idea to fill the BSB in account number so just give a random BSB number one two three four five six and as soon as you hit tab you would see a dash appearing in between okay and this is usually a nine digit number or oh, sorry the nine digit is the maximum numbers sometimes you might have six or five digits depending upon the bank now bank account name is Krishravi Party PTYLTD trading as the safety party. Okay. And then history. And then let, when I'm discussing banking module, I will tick this ABA file and explain you what happens then. Okay. So at this stage I'm just saying okay. You notice this? This is a new account which is appearing there. Okay, that's a new account we've created. So if you want to delete this account now, you can go to this white arrow and go to this edit button you see on top click this and delete account okay let me delete that account it's disappeared okay that's how you will add and delete a, if you require any new GL accounts okay right let me click next now if you're starting the business new then usually all these numbers would be zero because this is the first time you have you've started operating the business or sometimes if they are bringing this information from some other chart of accounts some other software you might have to put some opening balances in okay your accountant will um, your, your financial account or the financial controller would advise you what are the assets and liabilities so they might give you a trial balance which has got all the details uh, from one to nine or sometimes they will give you a profit and loss account and balance sheet so you need to put balance sheet items in assets, liabilities, and equity section. And uh, oh, here you, yep, yeah, sorry, my apologies. You don't bring forward profit and loss account balances anyways. You only uh, bring forward balance sheet items. Okay. Um, so that's where you put the information in. So just say next, and that's the conclusion. So once you have done that, that means you have successfully completed the accounts list.